Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make left turns at major intersections. You know, left turns are a big problem for a lot of new drivers, especially people who have recently migrated to North America, be it Canada or America. You know, left turns were my big problem. Now in this video I'm going to try to cover all the aspects related to left turns so that you never have to think twice about making a left turn. So without wasting any time, let's jump right into this video. So this intersection covers all the points related to left turns. So make sure you watch this video all the way through the end to understand everything about left turns. Now, what you see here is that, you know, it's when the light, when the cars start moving, you would see that the cars are only making a left turn here. So this means that this intersection has an advanced green signal. That's, that means it has the fourth light with, with the arrow. Well, that is why these guys are making left turns. Now, when there's an advanced green signal, only the people making a left turn can make the left turn. No other light would be green, not even for the pedestrians. If you notice here, you see these pedestrians, they are, they are waiting for the light to turn green. What they see right now is a red light for themselves. So that is why when you see an advanced green signal, you don't have to worry about anything. Well, that doesn't mean that you're not going to look around. Well, do look around, but you don't have to stop, you know, otherwise, if you're here and if you're thinking, then you might get honked at by the car behind you. So make sure you, you keep going until the light, uh, the, the arrow, green arrow turns yellowish right so when it's yellow it's, it means it's time for you to stop it doesn't mean that you have to stop behind the line you can stop in the middle of the intersection because after the advanced green arrow it's it's going to turn uh, the 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 solid green is going to turn on and you're going to wait for your turn so let's see what happens let's see what these cars are doing so you see uh these guys are making smooth left turns without waiting now okay Watch this here. So the bus actually here, right, is making a left turn uh, on a on a green light, even though it was uh, these guys' turn. So yeah, you see how the pedestrians they have started walking, you know, because it's a green light for them. Now another thing I want to point out here is this this guy here. You see how far this guy has come up you should be stopping behind the white line. That is why they emphasize on this. If you go uh, up in front of the white line, then you could lose points or you can fail on the test. Now, this guy is here. Why they say you should be behind the white line is because of this awkward situation. Now, in this situation, it's a major intersection. The, the pedestrian has some room to go around the car and still not get hit by the cars coming from here but if it's a small intersection and the and the pedestrian has to go around then it's an awkward situation it's a dangerous situation for the pedestrian so you want to make sure that you don't go beyond the white line right sometimes i've seen you know in in uh, smaller intersections the the pedestrians have to go from behind the car or they don't you know cross the cross the road until the car moves so you you don't want to do that now let's see what happens next so you see okay this is what i wanted to show you watch this so there are four lights here right so this one one two three four right uh, that's green and then that's yellow that's red and then this one is for the advanced green signal now uh, you see now Another thing you want to know about left turns is that, you know, uh, sorry, sorry, going straight, you know, the signals. So these guys are going straight and these guys are going straight because it's a green light and pedestrians always go in the direction of uh, the green light. So they can never go this way because then, then they will, they'll have to cross through the traffic to to cross the road so that's not good that's why pedestrians always go in the direction of the traffic okay now you see these guys this guy this guy is uh, he should have moved 
forward you know there's no car in front of him it's a green light and uh, if you do this on the test because you're nervous then you might get honked at by the car behind you the car would want you to move forward if i were behind him i would honk at him just politely to ask him to move forward a bit he could take a position somewhere here to make the left turn just like this guy is waiting you know he's 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 there waiting for the cars to go now you just have to keep an eye on these cars whenever there's a gap here you would make a left turn right so similarly this guy is waiting here to for a gap so that he could make a left turn so let me go back here now it's strange very strange this guy had the left signal on he probably is a new driver he or she uh, they never made the left turn, uh, you know, they never crept up. I think they are thinking that they can only make a left turn on, on an advanced green signal. Um, uh, or, you know, they may, if they are not a new driver, they might be from another another province. Because I, I recently went to Quebec and I saw that you can only make a left turn on, on uh, you know, advanced green signals. Otherwise you can't. So that may very well be the case. So now, now here, this is something I want to point out. You see, this is another awkward situation, that, which is something you want to avoid on a road test. You see, this guy, uh, these guys are blocking these guys' path, right? So they shouldn't have moved in the first place uh, because they, they saw that their traffic was moving slow. They would block the intersection, right? So if you, if you see from far that, you know, it's, getting busy up here, then you would rather stop behind the line and let the cars move forward and go in when there is space. If there's no space, you're, you're better off behind the line. Now, this guy, because they this guy moved or these guys moved forward and now they're going to block these guys, the, the, the van. You see how slow it is now. Now, if it turns green uh, suddenly, and then uh, these guys are going to block the traffic. So, you know, this guy shouldn't have, again, moved forward knowing that there, there's a congestion up ahead. So these are the things that you need to keep in mind. So the, the, the left, traf left turn uh, on this side was really smooth. There was no traffic. So it's running smooth now, and you see. You see, these guys, yeah, hold on here. Let me show you this. Now, okay, so I see that these guys, the, the pedestrians are moving here. Uh, they see a red. Why are they moving? They shouldn't be moving, you know. This is the mistakes some pedestrians make, and then they get hit by other cars. Uh, now, another thing you want to do is, let me go back here. You see, these pedestrians, they are still here. And uh, this car is now, there's one pedestrian here. This car is trying to make a left turn. Do you think this guy should be making a left turn? What do you think? I think they should wait until the pedestrian, this pedestrian has, it has reached around here and these pedestrians have completely crossed the road. If you do this on the test, you could fail. You could fail, right? And if it's not for the test, for for safety purposes right you would want to wait because i've seen pedestrians change their minds and go back running go back running without looking so you should wait and read try to read the intentions of the of the pedestrians and this is why they say you should be checking your blind spot when you're up here you know they could be a pedestrian standing here that could start running from here that is why you should check your blind spot before making the left turn so when you're here you're looking here to make sure that there's no car 
and you're looking here up here to see there's no pedestrian starting to cross the road and then the third thing you're looking for is pedestrian on this side you know so that is why you should check your blind spot so you look straight here and behind you um, to make sure there's no pedestrians and cars so these are the three th checks you want to do when doing a left turn you don't have to worry about cars from this side because they have a red and uh, no cars gonna come from here uh, no one no one's gonna keep uh, no one's gonna you know you, you don't need to worry about the right hand side because you're going to the left hand side so these are the three checks you need to make you see how this car and this car is waiting you know again watch this watch these guys these guys they already see that there's traffic there's a congestion here and they they keep going they keep going they're not going to stop you know if i were them i would look at the timer here somewhere here to see how many seconds are left and whether i will be able to to go past uh, this line you know if i think i won't be able to then I, i'm going to stop behind the white line to avoid any inconvenience to the other cars you know god forbid you know if it turns red uh you know and they're here these guys can't move and this has happened so many times with me so many times with me uh at an intersection i i commonly use on steels you know these guys they they don't stop going and they block the intersection and you'd like i've waited like for up to three uh three green signals to move forward you know just to cross the intersection so you don't want to do that Now see how these guys, they have to go around this car to make the left turn. It's not safe. It's not safe for them. So you have to keep other people also in mind when you're driving on the road. You see, this guy is doing a good job. He's waiting for the car to pass and he made a left turn. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, okay. Now, there's another thing I wanted to tell you about left turns. Let me go back here. Okay, so I'm going to pause here. Now, you see the situation here. Now, there's three cars in front of the white line. So the white line is somewhere here. You see this one here? There are three cars in front of the white line. What do you think? Is this what you're supposed to do on a road test? Uh, write yes or no in the comment you know again again don't worry about it i'm going to tell you anyway so see what they tell you to do on the test is that you should not block the intersection um, when waiting to make a left turn unless you're the you're the only car in front of the white line it's only one car allowed uh, in front of the white line but on a on a in an intersection like this if if it's wide, you know, and two cars can fit in, that's, I mean, that's allowed. But three cars definitely don't fit in because these guys, you know, if the light turns, if the light turns red and this guy can't move, then this guy is blocking the pedestrian's path. Again, the pedestrians will have to go around him and get exposed to the traffic. So this is not something you want to do. If, if you're blocking the intersection, that's not a good position, right? So you uh, these guys are good uh, a lot of a lot of people do this a lot of people do this and then they what they do is they they make the left turn on a red light which is again not safe right so you don't want to do that so you want to stay behind the white line until you see that the path is clear right so that's good now this guy finally made the left turn okay you see that was an advanced green signal and you see the pedestrians are waiting they can't go so on an advanced green signal no one else has a green light only you have a you have a green light uh if you're making a left turn so you have the the right of way 
So that's that about the left turns. I hope you have understood left turns very well now. And uh, if you haven't, I would recommend you watch this video over and over again to get a hang of it. You know, when I came for the first time to Canada and, was, and I was taking driving lessons, I would go sit at an intersection to try to understand what left turns mean. I wish someone had posted a video like this for me to understand, for me to, to go over all the points. You know, uh, if, if, if you think I've still missed any points, so please feel free to mention in the comment box below and I will be more than happy to, to cover those points in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to bring a lot of videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again with another video.